I am pleased that there's been some progress, but it, it, has, uh, it has to continue and it has to speed up. Cautious optimism from New York State's top education official. Mary Ellen Elia met with Hempstead board members, educators, and parents following a finding of substantial progress in a district that's ranked nearly last in the nation for turning out graduates. Some of the areas where we've seen some growth, that still means we have a lot of work to do. Hempstead is one of only two persistently struggling districts in New York State to be assigned a monitor, a distinguished educator tasked with recommending fixes. Dr. Jack Beerworth got here amid a 37% graduation rate. He now cites progress in finance, curriculum, facilities, and a graduation rate that's inching up. But chaos still props up, sparring at Thursday's school board meeting between a parent and a highly visible school activist who's also a registered sex offender. And skeptics include this newly elected assemblywoman who wants proof of progress. I am skeptical because there have been reports of um, fudging numbers and reporting inaccurate data, which is what we would use to really track and determine progress. Elia cautions a turnaround will take time, but vows Albany's watching closely. I asked what confidence she has in district leaders, some of whom presided over years of dysfunction. I'm a person that believes that people can change, and you have constituted a new group of people. They can't afford to slip back. Meanwhile, the district has yet to even schedule long-awaited hearings against its ousted superintendent. Yet they continue to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars to Dr. Shimon Warrenker and lawyers working on the case against him. In Hempstead, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.